Hello and welcome to today's special webinar on unlocking the power of storage orchestration. Today's event is sponsored by Falcon Store and produced by Actual Tech Media. My name is David Davis of Actual Tech Media and I'm excited to be your moderator for today's special event. Now in just a moment, I'll introduce you to today's presenters, but first there's a few things that you need to know about the webinar and how it works. So first off, we want this to be a very educational event for you. So we encourage any and all questions. We want you to use the GoToWebinar control panel there and specifically the questions box to answer all of, or to ask all of your questions. Not only will we have engineers ready to respond to those questions during the live event, but we'll also have a dedicated Q&A session with today's experts at the end of the event where we will discuss in greater detail some of the top questions that you ask. So get those questions in early. Now at the end of the webinar, we'll be awarding a $300 Tango gift card to one lucky attendee on the live event. If you're watching this event on demand, I'm sorry the drawing has already occurred. If you are the winner, you can optionally donate the value of that gift card to one of our selected charities. The official price terms and conditions of the drawing can be found at events.actualtechmedia.com. And with that, I'm honored to introduce you to today's presenters. They are Mr. Mark Delsman, Vice President of Engineering, and Mr. Carter McCrary, Chief Revenue Officer at Falcon Store. Mark and Carter, thank you for being here. Thank you very much, David. Appreciate the introductions. This is Mark Delsman, uh, and along with Carter, I'll be taking you through the, uh, the slides today. What, what we're going to try and cover today is a discussion uh, about uh, unlocking the power of storage orchestration. And we will define that for you and talk about the heterogeneous storage environment that uh, will occur in most of the IT shops, how to manage and protect your environment through the storage orchestration, data protection, disaster recovery, and what we call the modernization of backup and archive. We should have uh, plenty of time at the end for questions, as David was mentioning, uh, and also would encourage if you have some that come up along the line to go ahead and, and use the chat function here with the GoToWebinar. Uh, we'll probably not get to answer them until the end, but would encourage you to go ahead and log them uh, when you think of them. So, uh, on this slide, Kenneth Cook here is, is a big data expert for The Economist, and he is very correct that the collection and use of data at scale is one of the foremost human inventions of all time. It's really been transforming our lives, enabling disruption across all industries, and forcing the creation of new regulatory and compliance laws so that the data and people it belongs to are protected, and uh, in general, they demand that we act faster than ever before. Organizations that embrace a data-driven culture are truly winning. The competitive advantage of properly managing, analyzing, and, and utilizing that data is just huge. This is an incredible time to be an IT storage pro also. You're on the front lines of ensuring the data is managed, protected, and made highly available to your organization. You're a key enabler of digital transformation and a data-driven culture in your organization. But it's becoming difficult to achieve mastery over your storage and data environments, particularly in complex heterogeneous IT storage environments. By mastery, we really mean the ability to properly store, manage, protect, and make data highly available to the organization uh, for analysis and action. Data mastery is something all IT storage pros should strive for, but it's hard in a heterogeneous environment. Most of you likely have solutions from multiple storage vendors that operate on their equipment. This translates into multiple ways of getting the same task done across different hardware, different applications, which is time consuming and inefficient. These tasks are often contingent on vendor software that's really closely tied to the vendor's hardware. One storage vendor may excel at backup, as an example, uh, and recovery between its own devices, while another one might excel only at backing up data to the cloud. 
a heterogeneous environment creates multiple inefficiencies. And I'll walk you through a couple of slides here describing what we mean by that. First off, uh, storage pros must learn multiple backup and recovery orchestration tools to get the same result. Oftentimes, different storage pros must be assigned to manage specific vendor solutions. It becomes a complex and time consuming to switch from management console to management console, basically doing the same thing. This can be especially frustrating or even career ending in the event of a data breach or a disaster. If you're a team leader in dealing with this issue, you'll recognize the frustration of knowing you're not using your team resources efficiently. Second one I point out is the high operational cost from siloed data and lack of visibility. So the lack of uh, this visibility uh, means that you end up with a subpar data management and protection uh, and, and possibly inefficiencies or inabilities to monitor storage health and performance. And the third one is the risk of data loss. Different tools mean uh, different capabilities, and we like to focus on both RPO and RTO, the recovery time objective. If they're not met, it makes it difficult to keep up with the business expectations or as I mentioned previously, it can create a career ending situation in an event of data loss. So uh, we're going to do two polling questions uh, during the webinar here, and I'll turn it back to, uh, back to David for the first one. Excellent, excellent. Let's see our first poll question here. I'm gonna pop up right now. That is, what is the biggest storage challenge in your heterogeneous environment? And so I'll leave this poll question up here for uh, about 20, 20 seconds. Uh, hopefully everyone has a chance to answer it. We will share the results of this poll question with you. So that way you can see how you stack up with your peers. So go ahead and respond to that poll right there on your screen and we'll, sh we'll share the results of that shortly. All right, I see some responses coming in. Thank you everyone who's voted. Again, the options here are uh, resources are being used inefficiently, high operational cost, cost uh, risk of data loss, using multiple tools to manage the environment and storage silos that are creating a lack of visibility. All right, looks like the majority of the audience has responded. Thank you, everyone, for those. Let me share the results with you. And Mark, what do you think? Well, it, it looks like... Uh resources being used inefficiently certainly took the lead no surprise there uh, in kind of what i stated a moment ago using the multiple tools to manage the environment which is linked closely to resources are being used inefficiently so uh, we'll, we'll certainly make sure we cover those as we go through this uh, and i think the high operational costs the one in third place here is is part and parcel associated with that inefficiency also. Excellent, excellent. And on then, so um, we believe you can master this heterogeneous storage environment. It's, it's not simple to, to uh, do this in general and to keep your organization's data protected and highly available at a low cost. At Falcon Store, we're here to help you find a better way and really what we want to focus on today. We believe that achieving mastery over your heterogeneous storage and data environments is, is really critical in the data economy. It can be personally recognized as a key contributor in the company's digital transformation efforts. So Falcon Store offers a storage and data management orchestration solution that we call the Falcon Store Data Mastery Platform. It orchestrates, it protects, recovers, modernizes, analyzes, and scale your entire heterogeneous storage environment from a single management console, regardless of which hardware you're using or applications that you're running. Our agnostic approach means you have just one central management console from which you can see all of your storage resources, the physical ones, virtual ones, cloud access, no matter the vendor. You can optimize the speed in which you add storage and manage your pools with an automated holistic solution that can be deployed either in-band or as a sideband solution. No more compromising on subpar solutions that come with your storage hardware 
And you can eliminate multiple solutions that are creating these fragmented silos. Let's take a look for a minute here at the Falcon Store architecture. Uh, I'm going to take it kind of by layer. I'm going to start down at the bottom of this screen. Uh, you'll see no matter if it's hard disk drives, SSDs, hybrid arrays, uh, tape resources, whether it's physical bare metal or whether it's uh, VMs uh, or cloud, we put some of the vendor logos down there. Uh, and with Hitachi here, uh, we really mean Hitachi Content Platform or HCP, which is an on-prem cloud. Uh, so all of these resources we could support and, and we have listed compatibility lists showing uh, which ones we do support. Up at the top of the, the stack here, uh, we show various applications, whether it's backup applications, whether it's databases, uh, a variety of different operating systems, both physical and virtual. So I, I'd like to stress that again, whether you're running an application on bare metal machines or you're running them in VMs, our mastery uh, platform can, can protect uh, and manage uh, in each case. So here in the middle is, is really the, the range of solutions that we offer with the Falcon Store Data Mastery Platform. The storage orchestration, disaster recovery, backup and archive modernization, predictive analytics, high availability, and then data mobility or, or movement also. I won't be able to get through all of these in our webinar today. We will have subsequent uh, webinars to uh, cover the uh, predictive analytics, high availability, data mobility piece of it. But I'm going to get through uh, the first three here in the subsequent slides today. Falcon Store solutions are uniquely vendor and hardware agnostic, uh, designed to work with your existing technology investment across your complex heterogeneous environment, including data centers, modern hyperconverged infrastructures, cloud and hybrid. With Falcon Store, mastering your data to achieve results quickly doesn't require you to start over, doesn't, you don't need to rip and replace, compromise, or spend a fortune on technology infrastructure. The central management console that we depict over here on the right of the slide uh, is, uh, is the Falcon Store management server, that's our name for it, and it provides you a complete and holistic view of your entire storage environment. With this view, you can, on a continuous basis, uh, securely protect, optimize, recover, locate, analyze, and scale the storage resources across these various environments, physical, virtual, cloud, hyperconverged, or hybrid. No other company offers you this uh, comparable solution without creating a lock-in or propagating data silos comprising uh, compromising on data protection and recovery or requiring the rip and replace that I mentioned. So let's start off with the first one in the row there, the storage orchestration. And, uh, and the primary feature to discuss is you can gain more control over time that your team spends managing your storage environment with Falcon Store. Our agnostic approach means you have just one central management console from where you can see all your storage resources, physical, virtual, cloud, no matter which vendor it is. You can optimize the speed in which you add storage. Uh, it, it, it will be the same in each case, how you can add a storage uh, to the pool, uh, manage your pools with a holistic solution that can be deployed, as I mentioned, either in-band or sideband and no more comprise, uh, compromising on the subpar solutions that come with your storage hardware. This consolidation of the storage into a single management framework uh, allows you to realize capacity savings and increase your, your security too, because you don't have this fragmented approach to it. Also allows you to optimize and, and match performance requirements across different applications. Uh, so in a case, uh, perhaps you have some older storage you want to redeploy from a, a performance heavy application, you can uh, reallocate that storage to a less performance demanding application 
once you've acquired new storage that you want to plug into the uh, performance needy application. Let's talk for a minute about the second one here in the middle, the disaster recovery. With the, the data, uh, Falcon Store Data Mastery platform, you can use this one easy tool to give you leading edge data protection. Falcon Store offers application aware recover track technology, which is an automatic, non intrusive, non disruptive recovery uh, uh, automatically. It's flexible recovery, it's fast and efficient recovery times because you can leverage a full spectrum of use cases from single file to, to a full bare metal restore. And you could do remote replication to maintain a DR site. Uh, we've, uh, we also support cloud connections, so you can do DR2 uh, cloud and, and make sure that it's consistent with your local site. And with our, um, with, with our continuous data protection, you can recover down to a single write. So you can go back and pick an exact point in time that you want to recover to. Carter, do you have uh, some customer impressions of our, our uh, recovery time uh, and recovery point objectives? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Mark. Um, so obviously RPO and RTO are critically important because when you think about it, any lag when a disruption occurs means that um, you know, you're going to lose data, you lose money, you lose time, uh, those sorts of things. Um, I'll give you an example. We have a large healthcare organization and they have critical PACS data. And what that is, it's picture archiving and communication systems. So, for example, this is like um, patient organ photos and scans, MRIs, uh, you know, a lot of large data that's super critical and, and critical to patients' lives. So this healthcare organization, they want, if, if a disruption occurs, they don't want to lose any data. There's other solutions that are out there that um, they might do snapshots, but it's every five minutes or even every 10 minutes. And to lose 10 minutes of data could be uh, catastrophic, as you can, as you can imagine. So um, this healthcare organization, they use, they use our recovery track technology and because of the Falcon Store technology, and as Mark mentioned, this exact point in time to be able to go back, um, they, can, they can pick from the last write whenever that disruption occurred and, uh, and do it very quickly uh, for that matter. And um, we're the only solution that can actually do continuous snapshotting of data. Great, thank you, Carter. So we, we want to leave you with the, uh, the uh, concept here. You can achieve this 0% data loss, as Carter said, down to the single write. Uh, we can protect your data, which hopefully yields 100% peace of mind. Let's talk a few minutes about backup and archive modernization. Uh, backup and archive as a technology has been around for many years, uh, but we believe that uh, there's a very modern role for that in your IT shop. Here's a, a slide showing uh, over on the left the various uh, backup uh, software vendors that uh, you may have in your IT shop. And over on the right side, the various uh, outputs uh, that you may want to uh, back up or archive your data to, whether it's industry standard tapes, whether you want to leave it on disk or, or solid state drives, you want to promote it out to the, the cloud, AWS, Hitachi, HCP, Microsoft Azure. What we do at Falcon Store is we help you meet this backup window through the industry's fastest backup performance. We reduce the backup capacity through technologies of deduplication and compression. We, en we enhance the security of it, and we do this in a method that scales uh, very efficiently also. 
We recently had uh, an independent consulting group called the Evaluator Group uh, measure our performance and scalability and, uh, and to see how we could help you meet your backup window. Our VTL solution achieves a, a single node. Uh, VTL can achieve aggregate backup speeds of up to 40 terabytes per hour. So you can finally get your backups done very fast. And there'll be uh, links uh, on our website uh, where you can actually read the, the publication that came out regarding this testing. We also help you eliminate the redundant data and reduce up to 95% of your business data stored for uh, protection purposes while enabling you to scale high availability backup nodes to handle larger data sets or extremely demanding backup windows. As I mentioned, Evaluator Group uh, that did the, that benchmarked our solution found that we delivered three to six X better price performance than a large leading competitor. Uh, Carter, uh, give you another chance here. Do you have uh, uh, a nope. customer example you'd like to share? Sure. So, um... Yeah, we had Falcon Store, we have hundreds of customers, uh, actually probably even more than that, maybe thousands of customers where the backup window is really a basis of one of their largest pain points for trying to you know, get a backup done on a nightly basis. Uh, one example is we have a multi-billion dollar multinational electronics company who uses our products, um, who as their data was growing, as everybody's data is growing, um, they couldn't meet their nightly backup window, and so basically they come in the morning, come in in the morning, and and start the the day and usage of data, and it wasn't fully backed up. Uh, their previous solution could not even handle five terabytes an hour, and so they, they were obviously looking for a better solution and um, found Falcon Store, and with the ability to get up to forty terabytes an hour, they've now reduced their nightly backups to less than two hours. And not only that, so they're now meeting their backup window on a uh, on a nightly basis or even you know, a couple hours, but it was significantly less expensive than their prior solution was as well. We uh, we also support leveraging the cloud for long term data retention. So when you do a backup to a, a VTL server shown in the diagram here. Instead of them trying to export to some form of a physical medium like like tape and trucking it off site to a storage locker or whatever, uh, we support just exporting that tape directly to one of the uh, one of the public clouds. So, uh, if, for example, you can use AWS uh, Glacier or or Glacier Deep Archive as a way to store those. Uh, uh, images basically of of your backup uh, and allow for quick recovery of them also you don't need to go find them somewhere else and, and drive them back on site so th this makes for a very efficient modern way of keeping processes that you might have been using for a number of years but getting rid of a lot of the inefficiencies uh, in that so as I mentioned, the last three in the middle row here, the predictive analytics, the high availability, and the data mobility, we're going to save for a future uh, webinar uh, and hope everybody comes back to hear uh, that also. And we'll also, in upcoming ones, uh, get in a little bit deeper to some of the technical aspects and provide some demos uh, also. Well, let's talk about some of the key takeaways here. Storage orchestration, what we're defining as storage orchestration, saves time uh, day in and day out. It allows you to provision storage fast across a multitude of, of types of storage. It allows you to consolidate that storage, breaks down storage silos by using a single tool for that, and experience one holistic view into your storage for faster de decision making. Orchestrating your backup and archive environment allows you to reduce your backup window by up to 
uh, not only meet or exceed your backup window, but reduce your storage capacity that you're using for backup. And it gives you this option of using uh, cloud object storage uh, as a way to do the retention of your archive data. This allows you to experience 0% data loss. Uh, we provide application aware uh, backup and recovery. You can recover down to a single write, a single point in time, and it leverages the full spectrum of recovery use cases, which we hope gives you 100% control and makes you uh, achieve 100% hero status. So I think we have uh, uh, one more polling question here. Uh, yeah, the next poll question here, it should be on your screen. That is, what I'm information sorry, I, are I, you interested in receiving from Falcon Store? And this is a multi-select question. So you can select not just one, but multiple answers here. Uh, a white paper, a blog post, demo of the solution, or a data sheet. And let's just leave this poll question up here for just a moment. We'll let the audience answer. And while we leave that up, uh, Mark, do you mind if we start off with some of our questions from the audience? Um, I think I've got one more, and then we can turn it over to questions. OK, perfect, perfect. All right, looks like most of the audience has voted there. Let me go ahead and close out the poll. And then back to you, Mark. OK, great. So uh, this is kind of our three things to do next. And I think this uh, hopefully will help, uh, especially on the technical white papers, the data sheets that people were voting on. Uh, we have a, a, an active blog that you can uh, subscribe to at falconstore.com slash blog. Uh, it gives you weekly updates on storage and data management topics. Carter, I'll let you handle the last two here. Yeah, so just uh, just step back just a bit on the blog. Really uh, would like you guys to go in and sign up for the blog. If you don't need immediate information from us, like a demo or talk to a sales rep, it's still a great way to stay in touch with Falcon Store. Um, we do post the blog at a minimum every week, and it's just simple, falconstore.com slash blog. Uh, second one is if you do want to take a look at the technology uh, immediately, just go to our homepage at falconstore.com. There's a big red button up on the top right. It says request a demo. Click on that, fill out the information, and uh, we'll have somebody get to you uh, very quickly. And then the third is if you're in a big hurry, save a lot of money, and come up with a really great solution, um, you can go to salesinfo at falconstore.com, send us an email, and we will have somebody contact you uh, immediately. Great. Thanks, Carter. So now, as, as I promised, we saved uh, plenty of time for, for questions. Uh, any that we can answer for you? Excellent. Yeah, yeah, let's do some Q&A. So we have some questions coming in from the audience. Uh, if you're out there in the audience and you know some of the topics kind of rang a bell uh, with you and you have a question around storage orchestration and software-defined storage and how it all works, Now's the time to ask those questions because we're starting our Q&A session now. So uh, we've got Mark and Carter, and we also have uh, Paul out there in the audience all to help us uh, with questions. And so the first question that came in here is from Rendell, and he's asking, can you explain the security around the product? He says, in my business, we're required to, to be secure in transit and at rest. How does Falcon, Falcon Store ensure security compliance? Sure, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, start off on that one. And Carter and Paul, if you have any thoughts, you feel free to jump in too. So security, we use uh, AES 256-bit encryption for, for any data in flight. Um, we uh, certainly believe that any modern solution uh, of data management needs to be able to encrypt data. Um, and, and Paul, I believe you, you have uh, several customers or most of your customers probably that uh, are actively using that. 
Uh, absolutely, Mark. Uh, when any, anybody's doing any kind of replication, uh, AES-256 encryption is always uh, needed. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, we have multiple customers replicating today, whether it's going to be uh, they're backing up to BTL or they're doing storage orchestration and replicating offsite to another uh, either a on-prem cloud or in a, a cloud, so the public cloud, such as AWS, or even some Azure customers as well. <laughs> okay. And also with the, it's a TCP IP replication uh, with compression. So you get a lot of uh, bandwidth savings, especially with our uh, micro scan patented technology to help uh, efficiencies in the replication. Okay, okay, excellent. All right, let's see. Another question that came in here, Morgan uh, is asking any recommendation for data conversion from an Oracle environment. And I know you may need a little bit more background on that, but perhaps some thoughts around Oracle. Well, well certainly uh, the snapshotting uh, for data protection of an Oracle environment is something that we absolutely support. We will quiesce the, the database, uh, uh, take snapshots of it. Uh, not sure if I, understand your full question, but that uh, Oracle database environment uh, is very popular with our customers and one we clearly support. Okay, excellent. Um, another question here, uh, what clouds do you support with a uh, Falcon Store? Can I replicate data up to a public cloud? Uh, absolutely. So uh, our, our product uh, currently supports uh, Amazon AWS, uh, cloud for replication. We can, uh, if you remember on the earlier slide with our VTL solution, we can also export uh, to Glacier and Deep Archive uh, at AWS. Uh, we've recently added Hitachi HCP, the Hitachi content platform, if you have an on-prem cloud. And we're continuing to add more clouds uh, here in the near future. We expect to announce uh, in the near future support for Microsoft Azure and other clouds too. Excellent. And then what about on-premises? Is there some sort of hardware compatibility list um, when, it, when it comes to running Falcon Store on-premises? Yeah, yeah, great, great question. Because I talked a lot in the earlier slides about these heterogeneous environments, and uh, that's that's a big word. Uh, but everybody likes to look up their own equipment and see if it if it actually shows up on the compatibility matrix. We do document that at our website, uh, so we we have not only the 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 hardware compatibility list. So what servers uh, do we run on? What storage uh, works uh, with our software? Which clouds are we supporting? Uh, and, and also uh, which uh, applications uh, can we ensure consistency with? So I, I would encourage everybody to visit our website to the compatibility pages uh, where we have extensive documentation on that. Okay. And then a uh, question here about uh, can Falcon Store replace an aging SAN or NAS or or does it manage uh, SAN and, and NAS arrays? Yeah, uh, great question. Um, so, so Falcon Store is a software company. We're providing you with a software product. So, so uh, and this, the software product will manage the various types of hardware that you have. Uh, my earlier comment, if you have, uh, uh, because I, I think this is a great use case, if you have some aging storage, perhaps that's been uh, storing the your Oracle database as an example, and it's just, it's not high performance enough for your current needs, uh, if you're acquiring new storage, there's no reason to get rid of the the older storage. You can redeploy that and maybe uh, use it as uh, share volumes for work groups or other uh, uses. Once again, through a single management console, uh, you have the ability to redeploy 
uh, which volumes or, or uh, which allocations of storage you place on the new high performance storage or perhaps the older ones. So you can redistribute that workload very easily through our management console. Uh, it's, it's a great use case, one that uh, uh, really I think helps uh, uh, in justifying the cost of some of the new storage in order to hit your performance objectives. And just to add on to that, Mark, this is Paul again. So, and also people use this to migrate to the to their newer storage and without any downtime and, and the host is completely unaware of what's happening at the time. So uh, like I have an extremely large accounting customer today and they refresh their storage arrays in two weeks time, which is kind of unheard of in this industry, right? Most of the time you're kind of struggling to uh, refresh your arrays. That's one of the key advantages uh, that we give people is you, you basically are marrying it and then swapping it and the host doesn't know. So let's say you were on uh, 15K SAS and then you're moving into the flash array. We can mirror it over, swap, and, and the host is no the wiser. It just keeps running without any 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 hiccups. Because um, a couple other, you know, those, those are some of the other things that people like to utilize us for. Uh, we also do stretch clustering, which this customer is doing. So they basically have two HA data centers. So it's very interesting uh, uh, use case that they have going on there. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a huge example. benefit. I mean, so many companies need to migrate from an old array to a new array. Um, and Falcon Store can step in there and, and just make that migration, which would normally be very painful, make that easy. Uh, here's a follow-up question uh, Clark is asking. Uh, back to the oracle question before could i do an oracle financial snapshot or backups rapidly and efficiently with falcon store and and yes we <coughs> excuse me we provide a uh, the opportunity to go in with with a an agent and pause an oracle uh, uh database operation so you can take a consistent snapshot uh, Many types of data protection software out there today do not offer this this pause to get a good consistency point uh, for the database. It's very quick. It's very easy, um, but it's it's this extended functions that we offer uh, with our software. So uh, definitely highly recommend it for database type usage, uh, where you have uh, a multitude of transactions going on. Okay. And, and Oracle seems like a little bit of a hot topic. Uh, we do great protection on Oracle, whether it's snapshots or if you're using our VTL solution and you want to use land free backups so through the fiber channel. Sending, sending your, your Oracle dumps over the networks is, is fine, but uh, what we're seeing today from a lot of people is everybody's wanting to do land free, land free through the fiber channel. And because we emulate and we don't limit you in the number of tape drives like 1,024, which you're never going to reach, uh, you can do land-free backups. Uh, so if you have a 50 terabyte, 70 terabyte uh, Oracle database that you're trying to back up, uh, this is this is a fantastic solution and why a lot of people choose it. Yeah, and stepping back a little bit this quarter, um, if you guys do have a lot more technical questions and you want to get more information, definitely reach out to us and you can um, you know, you can reach out to us on the info, um, info sales at, uh, at Falcon store, or you can reach out to me directly at carter.mccrary at Falcon store, and we can connect you with the appropriate resources. Excellent. And then let's see another question here from Randall. He's asking how quickly can Falcon store configure and implement a standard solution? I mean, can you kind of walk us through? So say someone said, okay, I want to use Falcon store. Like what would the process be? Like, would they buy hardware? use hardware they need or already have? Would they purchase hardware from you? And, and kind of what, what would the process be? Sure. So basically, you reach out to uh, sales. We help you scope out the environment. Um, and then with the way you purchase, we can do it as a, a software only. If you we, we basically run on standard Intel x86 servers. We have a complete uh, hard, hardware compatibility list that you can go look. Um, Almost every major vendor is, is out there. It's only the obscure ones that don't make it. Um, but uh, you can buy it from us uh, to get it up and running. In, 
I can't give a full answer on that because sometimes it depends. Large environments are going to take a little bit longer. Small environments don't take near as long. Um, but you can buy it as a software only run on your hardware that you choose so that you have your same standardization throughout your data center. Excellent. All right, let's see. Um, Chris is asking about support. So once it's installed, the process you just walked us through there, we've got data on it, we have some questions. Can you tell us a little bit about your support? Are there different tiers? How does that work? So yeah, we, I, the support at Falcon Store has always been fantastic. Uh, I've been here for a while and I've been here before, and that's kind of been one of our, our, our greatest uh, crutches, I, I should say, especially for salespeople like myself. Uh, our salespeople, uh, they don't just stop and say, well, it's it's that vendor's fault because you're you're dealing with applications, right? So they'll sit there and trouble through it, troubleshoot it. And then if they can't solve it at the first line, they do they turn around and, and escalate it up to the tier to uh, engineering to take a look at. It. Okay. Yeah, I think you'll I think you'll find our our support is is very hands-on, very responsive. As Paul said, it's an area that uh, uh, we feel really differentiates us from many companies. Excellent. Let's see. Another question came in here. Clark is asking, uh, how does Falcon Store help to fulfill compliance mandates? Well, uh, I'll, I'll kick it off, and Paul, you're welcome to chime in too. Uh, for compliance uh, in general, uh, you know, let, let me start in the general compliance case. You need to know where your data is you need to know that it's protected and you need to know that it's secure so that you can demonstrate your control or as we would say mastery over your data so through our our solution uh, you know where it's allocated at uh, and you know you can you can put protection on it, whether it's uh, continuous data protection or uh, maybe a, a more intermediate steps for protection. You can uh, control the backups and the frequency of backups. You can control the security uh, through the encryption that we mentioned earlier. So no matter which uh, compliance, whether it's HIPAA, uh, GPR, whatever compliance uh, you need for your business, uh, they're always going to have those four basics uh, as part of the needs. Uh, and our software gets you into the position where you feel very confident about talking about that compliance. Very nice, very nice. Um, let's see, another question uh, Chris just asked, do you have or offer any tools to perform discovery on unstructured data and, and unfortunately no we we offer performance metrics on uh how your storage is running not not so much on the sorry if you're talking about uh file chris i would imagine um not on that just on the performance of your arrays yeah he said yes okay yeah and and, and so, let me chime in on that so our our uh, we, we do not currently offer discovery, but as Paul was saying, the predictive analytics, uh, when you're running out of storage, what your storage performance is, uh, the overall balancing of the applications. We do offer a lot of analytics as part of the product, and we will cover that, uh, as I promised, in the, up, the next webinar. Uh, but discovery is not an area that we've gotten into yet, and part of that is because, uh, as, as you said, it's unstructured data, uh, and, and uh, uh, we have not yet provided the, the hooks to dive into that with a, uh, external discovery. Okay, another question came in here, Jason is asking, uh, do you do site-to-site -site replication, and if so, is it synchronous or asynchronous? Ah, yeah, great question. So the answer is, of course, we do site-to-site -site replication. We also do site-to-cloud replication. Um, you can do both synchronous or asynchronous. Obviously, if, if the latencies are acceptable, we would you know, strongly recommend the synchronous. But if, for example, you're doing uh, a very long distances, 
uh, or perhaps you're not getting the, you don't have uh, uh, broadband connections into Amazon as an example, uh, you can also go asynchronous uh, so that you don't affect your, your primary applications. But we do support both, it is selectable. Okay, nice. And then another question, how is Falcon Store licensed? Are there different tiers or is it by capacity? How does that work? Yeah, this is Carter. This is Carter. So it's, um, it's typically based on capacity. We can um, uh, sell it either as a perpetual or as a subscription-based model. So it really just uh, depends on uh, what the need of the customer is. But it's a pretty okay, simple, it's a simple pricing model based on capacity. Very nice. I like simple. <laughs> and then where would someone purchase Falcon Store from? Directly from Falcon Store or through the channel? Uh, we are a channel company. So we would uh, encourage you to, to use a partner that you are familiar with. And um, if you don't have one, we can always connect you with one. Excellent. Excellent. Um, let's see. Another question here. I mean, what's the first step? If someone wanted to get started with Falcon Store today, what do you recommend? Contact a salesperson at salesinfo at falconstore.com. Excellent. And, you know, I would say you could request a demo, which you can. We have a lot of customers who they don't go through the demo process because it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and, uh, you know, we can have a salesperson contact you just as quickly as possible. All right. Well, it looks like that's all the questions we have for today's session. Um, this has been really, really great. Mark, Carter, and Paul, lots of good questions coming in. Uh, lots of excellent answers as well. Thank you all so much for being on today's event. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. And thanks for hosting, David. And thanks, everybody, for joining. Yes, thank you, everyone out there in the audience, for taking time out of your busy day to join us on today's webinar. Before we go, I know I promised I would announce the winner of today's $300 a Tango gift card. That is Robert Theobald from Pennsylvania. Congratulations, Robert from Pennsylvania. We'll reach hey, out to you. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. We'll reach out to deliver your gift card. And for more information on the Falcon Store solution, please visit the Falcon Store website. And we hope that you have a great day. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.